I'm Amy from Doodle Dog Designs. I went to an auction last weekend and they had a bunch of sewing stuff and I bought several boxes of miscellaneous sewing items. So I thought we could go through the boxes together and you can see what I got in my auction sewing haul. At the end of the video, I will show everything in an organized manner so you can really see what I ended up getting. Let's get started. In addition to what I got, there were also a couple of sewing machines, a Bernina and a Viking and a serger and a Singer Featherweight in amazing condition. I'm gonna start with this box here. Some hook and eyes and snaps and needles. There's three of these. I'm not really sure what they're for. Some more snaps, a hotel sewing kit, a bunch of sewing machine needles. Got various buttons here. Another page of buttons, brick rack, more buttons, and some needles, buttons, fix some sewing tips, like some bird iron-on transfers for embroidery. A marking pencil. Oh, a walking foot for a Bernina. I have a Bernina sewing machine. I wonder if this would work. Several zippers, elastic, and some Velcro, more hook and eyes, not sure what that is, a buckle, ribbon, a couple more marking pencils, Ooh, pinking shears. They're scalloped. That's nice. Some more Velcro. Oh, somebody did some paper quilling. That's pretty. Very nice. And another one. Singer sewing machine scissors. Some more buttons. Satin ribbon roses, buttons, embroidery floss, rulers, a tracing wheel, more hook and eyes, a little Santa button, oh, these are purse handles it says, nice. Another card. Oh, a bunch of little scissors. Okay. A loop turner. All right. The next box we've got a couple quilt patterns. Looks like some fabric. Patterns and a dressmaker gauge, Dreamweaver. These are very pretty. These are all very thin. Paper, 
intricately cut out I'll unpackage this basket. Looks like some pins and thread, a few buttons, some cones of thread and little thread. Buttons and elastic. Some elastic. It's a pretty lace. A wooden Christmas tree. Looks like some ribbing. A tube turner. I have one like this. Some ribbon, more elastic, A sewing kit. Some more hook and eyes. I'm set on hook and eyes. Plastic buttons. Sewing kit. Some more buttons. And buckles. Buttons. Plastic cording. Says some rhinestone ribbon and some seam binding and a little bit of rickrack. Looks like this box has mostly thread in it. I think that might be a magnetic pin holder. Pin in dress shields. Mostly thread, a few wooden spools. All right, this box has got some rickrack and some flower ribbon, some doilies. There's a whole bag of these little diamond shaped pieces of fabric. Let's see if this says what it is. It says they're diamond tags made out of ultra suede. They're great when sewn together as craft items of all types. Hmm. It's from 1981. It's a pattern. Trace erase for embroidery and applique. I've never used that before. I think the rest of the box is just fabrics. Looks like in this box is a pen holder and quite a bit more thread. Some buttons in there. This sewing machine needles for stitching leather. My husband will like that. Got some zippers. A tracing kit. 
for home sewing and professional use. So it's to transfer patterns. Looks like it's got some transfer paper in there. Different colors. Another ruler. A knitted waistband. More zippers. Oh, here's another one of those cute little rolled paper cards. Pin cushion. Looks like some Velcro. Pressing cloth. Embroidery hoops. Another card. Another pencil and some zippers. Got some lace and some more fabric here. Looks like there's a zipper and some more of these sew and dress shields. some more fabric. All right, this box, it's got some more of the paper quilling. Thread, more paper quilling. A jar of buttons. Those are big buttons. Looks like this has got some buttons and hook and eyes, some needles, some little buttons, with a pair of scissors. Those are nice. More paper quilling. miniatures for emergencies. Soft light Kleenex tissue. It's little toilet papers. That's funny. 1967. Made in Chicago. There's more paper quilling. Buttons. 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 The rest is mostly buttons. There's some marking chalk. Some sewing machine needles. Heart buttons. Buttons. Some more marking chalk. Last box. Looks like some more buttons. Silk. Covered snaps. I think this is buttons. Ribbon. A sewing kit and some needles. Self covering buttons. Hmm. That's a nice cutting. Ruler, buttons, some lace, I think that goes with a sewing machine, some more sewing machine needles, needles, buttons, Usable webbing, buttons, a pin cushion, and more buttons.
My daughter happened to be home for the weekend, and this is the box of goodies that she took home. She got the Turner and the little lace doilies and some pins and needles, a bunch of thread. Uh, that box of pins is a box, brand new box of quilting pins. She took some embroidery hoops, scallop scissors, and a nice jar of buttons. I've got everything pretty organized now. As you can see, I ended up with a lot of thread. There's some that are brand new and still have plastic on them. Some that are pretty used. Some that even had some wooden spools, which a few wooden spools. So I'm sure I'll be able to use some of this thread. There's some Gutterman thread. That's the brand I really prefer to use. There's some various things here that I'm probably just going to move on to thrift stores. Nice pile of these cut papers. Um, some scissors. I'm really excited about all of these cards. They are so neat looking. I'm going to enjoy giving those away. There's some various needles and pins. Quite a bit of sewing machine needles. And these are sewing machine leather needles. Some regular needles. Some little tiny jingle bells. I don't really need these. I have tracing pencils and so that will probably be sent on to the thrift store. There's a bag of various kinds of elastics so I will replenish my elastic stash. A bunch of different fasteners, belt fasteners and other things here. A stack of patterns most of them are quilt patterns and I'm really excited about these fasteners there's a bunch of hook and eyes and snaps and my stash of those had gotten really low lately I use those when I'm making doll clothes for my nieces and a lot of buttons the ones that my daughter didn't take and also my zipper stash had gotten low, so excited to have some new zippers. Quite a bit of Velcro and various ribbons and seam bindings and stuff. And a pile of fabrics. There's really no fabrics in there that I think I'm going to keep, but I'll pass them on and see if someone else wants them. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like this type of video, be sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll see you next time. Bye.